Good afternoon. This video I'm going to deal with the issue again of Robert Baker and that article he has up that refuses to pull down and how deceptive it is and uh, how deceitful he is. He went to Ruckman School in 1998. That's where he learned all about this. Here's Ruckman in a question and answer period, 1992. Five minutes, 25 seconds in. Thirteen one hand, then we'll get to uh, Acts chapter 17 and the other, New Testament. Acts chapter 17, Nehemiah chapter 13. Now, thing is, they change a little bit here on the grace. And there's not this strong restriction against uh, interracial marriage of the New Testament you find in the Old Testament. There's not this strong restriction in the Old New Testament as in the Old Testament. You know what he says in his reference Bible? Acts 16. Footnote 16.6, uh, excuse me, 16.3. There are no verses in the New Testament forbidding interracial marriage. You are under grace. But he says, but the effect that it might have on your witness and soul winning will be something else. He just threw that in. Now, when you go to the article that, uh, Breaker wrote the year 2000. So he went to he went to uh, going to Breaker. He went to uh, PBI in 1998. A few years later, he enrolled in Pensacola Bible Institute and graduated there in 1988 with a bachelor's of divinity. That's Ruckman. He met Ruckman was his pastor. So he says here, uh, but one time I was asked the following question, well, can you show me anywhere in the Bible that says you can't do it? Several thoughts raced through my mind, but when I went to answer the brother, he would not listen. What thoughts raced through your mind? New Testament, there are no verses that says you can't do it. I soon found out he married a woman of another race. And from that day forth, I decided to search the scriptures and find out more about this subject. Now, his doctrine by Ruckman. I did not want my conviction to be just an opinion or preference. Well, it turns out to be just opinion or preference. And everybody gives him a buy for it. I, do, I did not want my conviction to be just an opinion or preference. He has a conviction on this, people. I did not want my conviction to be just an opinion or preference, but I want to know what the Bible said about this topic. At the end of the uh, at the end of the article, he tries to say it's just my opinion, but the purpose of writing the article somewhere met here. Uh, let's see. I, uh, why I personally am not for interracial marriage. That's an opinion. But up here in the beginning of the article, what does he say? The reason he's searching the scriptures, the reason he's searching the scriptures, I do not want my conviction to be just an opinion or a preference. But I want to know what the Bible said about this topic. He's learned about the topic already, people. He learned it from Peter Ruckman. It's a conviction. It's not an opinion. But at the end of the article, in order to cover himself, he goes, I personally am not for interracial marriage. You see how double-tongued this guy is? You people give him a way out. Now I'm going to continue on here with Ruckman, what Ruckman has to say here, and show you what a, what a Ford Ruckman is. I'm going to move on here. He says some harsh things here. That I want to uh, be repeated on, t on, on uh, the video. Somewhere about 15 minutes in. I guess this video got 171 thumbs up, people. Everyone thinks this guy is, you know, a wonderful. Well, up on the face of the earth. Now, as far as the race is concerned. Go back here. Remember that. 
he was searching the script, my conviction. He did not want his conviction to be based on opinion. Go back here again. So you can all see it again very clearly. I did not want my conviction to be just an opinion or a preference, but I want to know more about the Bible said about this topic. This is a conviction, people. That's why it isn't pulled down. Then at the end of it, it says, I personally made against interracial marriage. And there's not one New Testament scripture that forbids interracial marriage. All of a sudden, these dispensationalists become non-dispensationalists. Isn't that amazing? So here's Ruckman again. We go on here. And they're talking about the witness. Who's in the witness? What a bunch of baloney. I wonder what it was. Verse 25. And I contended with them and cursed them. My, what a pastor. <laughs> I cursed them and smote certain of them and plucked off their hair. How'd you like to have a preacher like that? You blankety black, smack, smack, and turn out hair. <laughs> Boy, talk about a shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, have made them swear by God, saying, You shall not give your daughters to their sons, or take their daughters to your sons, or for yourselves. Did not Solomon, the king of Israel, what? What? Yes, he is. Try again. What? 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 Get you involved. What says, Sin by these things, yet among many nations, but no king like him who is beloved of his God, and God made him king over all Israel. Nevertheless, even him did outlandish women cause to what? 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 You can't possibly mistake it. What? Yeah. Because they were unbelievers. And they worship an idols. Not because they're a race. Not because they're a race. Let's continue on. That's, that's interracial marriage. Yeah. But unbelievers. Idol worship. They're worshiping their idols, their gods. This is what passes for people for a doctrinal exposition. And this is the con man that Robert Breaker will pull. He's the con man pulling a breaker. Oh, I wanted, I wanted to make sure my conviction was not based on personal opinion or preference. Why not come to the New Testament? Acts chapter 17. Acts chapter 17, verse... This is their favorite, favorite proof text. 26. And it made of one blood all nations of men that dwell upon the face of the earth. Now, as far as the race is concerned, there's no difference in blood. When it comes to blood, if you get a blood transfusion from a black man, it will not change the color of your skin. Yeah. If you get a Gee, there's, there's, there's insight. blood transfusion from a Chinaman or a Japanese, it will not slant your eyes. Yeah, there's the insight. Genius. Because you don't get your racial characteristics from your blood. You get your racial characteristics from your genes and chromosomes. So when it comes to blood, you're all the same blood. But you can't stop here. No, no, you can't stop here. Watch how he's going to excuse uh, the idea like, uh, uh, of racism now. Of, uh, you know, you can't interracially marry because God divided the nations. Internationalism versus nationalism. And at the term before the appointed times and the bounds of their habitation. Oh, the bounds of their habitation. Oh, Nations aren't, uh, people aren't moving back and forth, according to these people. People aren't being conquered by other con uh, nations and intermingling with them. They're all staying isolated and pure in their race. God put up boundaries. Why? That they should seek the Lord. Now the first That's nationalism. Not, not the issue of race. Men do when they get together, they run God out. What did they do with race? My God separated the race and kept men apart so they could deal with God. He, he created nations. And because of that, when a man wants to really find God, the best place to find God is when you're alone. If you want to learn about men, go downtown and stand on the street corner and watch them. You'll learn about men. But if you want to learn about God, get off in the bushes by yourself. Now, in the New Testament, there isn't... Get off in the bushes by yourself. These guys are mystic. That's what he did, people. No, you get off somewhere with the Bible by yourself. Not in the bushes. This guy, Buckman, that's how he came. He was always by himself when he was doing that oriental mysticism. One verse 
Get that? See? The real answer, you won't say that anywhere in this article by Breaker. He won't say that one time, Ruckman at least admitted, there's not one verse at 1641. Let me go back here. God put up boundaries. Why? That they should seek the Lord. Now the first thing that men do when they get together is they run God out. And the reason why God separated the race and kept men apart was so they could deal with God. What divided the nations, people? It wasn't the races, it was the languages. It was the Tower of Babel. They began speaking different languages. And because of that, when a man wants to really find God, the best place to find God is when you're alone. If you want to learn about men, go downtown and stand the street corner and watch them. You'll learn about men. But if you want to learn about God, get off in the bushes by yourself. Now, in the New Testament, there isn't one verse uh, forbidding interracial marriage. Now, one verse forbidding interracial marriage is by the dispensationalist. So, someone comes up to Breaker and says, can you show me anywhere in the Bible that says you can't do it? Oh, not in the, he doesn't say, well, I can't find anywhere in the New Testament. Several thoughts raced through my mind. Yeah, I bet they did, because now he had to find a reason to argue against this, this brother, against interracial marriage. I did not want my conviction. People, this is year 2000. This is already a conviction. He's already convicted on this. He went to Robert, he went to break he went to, uh, uh, Ruckman School. I did not want my conviction to be just an opinion or preference. But I want to know more about what the Bible said about this topic. He already know what the Bible said about this topic. Because everything he's going to say here is what Ruckman teaches. Everything he says there. This is why I said, Ed, you're being a dead horse. No, I'm trying to expose this guy for what he is. People have come to him and said, this is, this is, this is a, 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 an article here that's a lie. And he'll come back and say, no, this is my opinion. And you come up and you say, he'll come back and say, no, I, the reason he wrote the article is he didn't want my conviction. I would search the scriptures and find out more about this subject. I did not want my conviction to be just an opinion. Well, clearly, he searched the scriptures. And now he's trying to tell you it's just an opinion or preference. But in fact, the whole purpose of searching the scriptures was to justify a conviction. Or come to a point where he had a conviction. But clearly, the issue was, he never, he never tells the guy, well, there's no New Testament verses against it. He never tells him that. What when he says it? On the grace, people. Old Testament was all about spiritual issues. It's also. So it's allowed. It's allowed. Breaker doesn't tell you that in that article. Nowhere does Breaker say it's allowed. On the grace. But there are some problems. Oh, there's problems. That's what Breaker wants to bring up. That's why he'll say his pref his, he's, he's personally against it. Because there are problems. But he doesn't tell you in that article there's no New Testament verses that don't allow it. Problem number one. Abstain from all appearance of evil. Problem number two. Why is it evil if it's under grace? Abstain from all appearance of evil. On one hand, these people are saying the whole world are trying to get together and intermarry. That's the odd argument. We've got to keep apart because the Antichrist is going to bring all these people together into marriage. So why would people think uh, 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 Christians into marrying would be an appearance of evil? Only to other Christians have been taught that it's evil. No man liveth to himself, no man dieth to himself. Problem number three. While the world stands... See, see, see how it's quoting scripture, people? You see how scripture can, can be used to deceive you? None of the scripture has to do with anything about the, the legitimacy of, of interracial marriage. 
There's no New Testament verse against it. You're under grace. But nothing to cause my brother to stumble him or offend him or make him weak. Problem number four. Let not your good evil spoke. See? 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 See, See what? Paul would not allow Titus to be circumcised. See? See? Principle in the New Testament you're going to run into. Oh, it's in the principle. Because you had a bunch of racists running around who think interracial marriage is a sin. When they can't, and they call themselves dispensationalists when they can't find a New Testament verse against it. You're going to have to cross them. Because your good will be able spoken of. You will? By, only by guys like Buckman and other like uh, Brian Denler and uh, Robert Baker. Yeah, he's tolerated you, But he has conviction on people. He wants his conviction not to be based on opinion or preference. And he didn't tell you in that verse, in that, in that uh, whole, in that whole article, there's not one New Testament verse under, under grace where it says you can't intermarry. Now you take, I'll draw you some stuff in a minute, but, but, uh, you take it on our school. We have a lot of Mexicans come to school or Hispanics. And listen to this. This is beautiful. It's a beauty. And they're good people. Maybe the Mexicans are a class of people. Maybe they're supposed to be wetbacks or greasers or something. And look out for them with a knife and all that stuff. But we never had a Hispanic go in a good suit. Ortiz and Hernandez and Arturo and I've asked these guys. I never, we never had one of them that didn't pay his bills and he didn't gripe, he didn't complain, he worked like a dog. Never had, never had a bad one. And a couple of them are called to preach and be missionaries. And everyone that married a gringo was unable to reach his own people. Everyone up mad a white girl could not reach his own people. And that's what God called him to do. How do you know what God called him to do? Look at this arrogance. If God brings your wife to you, how, what makes you think it, it was uh, you're called to preach then and you're being rejected by the people you're going to preach to? How does he know what God wanted them to do? That's his assumption. That's Robert Blake's assumption in his article. The second reason I, I don't I don't care too much for the idea of marrying out so many races that heritage is broken. Uh, that's that's human. That's uh, mankind stuff. It's all Old Testament here, people. Another reason I'm not fond of interracial marriage, I'm not fond of interracial marriage people, is that it breeds hatred in the hearts of many. When there was interracial marriage, hatred is spawned. Only by people who bigoted. <laughs> it says it's true. It's a guy, he got this from Ruckman, and then he wants to say, I can, I, well, he, never this, he never heard, he had to make, make a Bible study on it. Now the love forbidding the intermarriage. The guy will intermarriage, okay. Not forbidding to wait him out. You see that? Break us at one time. But boy, it's got complications. Marriage has complications. <laughs> so, so what? Having children has complications. So what? No Hispanic people, they will not accept one of their own kind. God, if he marries a, somebody from Jacobs. See that? See where they go back to people? This is PBI. They go back to Genesis. And the three groups of people. What did he call uh, the Spanish people here? All that stuff. But we never had a Hispanic go in a good suit. Ortiz and Hernandez and Arturo and I will ask these guys. I never, we never had one of them that didn't pay his bills. And he didn't gripe. He didn't complain. He worked like a dog. Never had, never had a bad one. And a couple of them are called to preach and be missionaries. And everyone that married a gringo was unable to reach his own people. Everyone up mad a white girl could not reach his own people. And that's what God called him to do. Now the love forbidding in the intermarriage. The guy will intermarriage, okay. But boy, it's got complications. And the old Hispanic people, they will not accept one of their own kind. God, if he marries somebody from Jesus. Well, now I'm going to draw you something here. And uh, this standpoint of art, 
I don't know what people he's talking about. It's Shem, Ham, and Japheth. So what is he calling the Spanish people? All that stuff. But we never had an Hispanic order in a good suit. Ortiz and Hernandez and Arturo and Alvarez and these guys. I never, we never had one of them that didn't pay his bills. And he didn't write, he didn't complain, he worked like a dog. Never had, never had a bad one. And a couple of them are called to preach and be missionaries. And everyone in the Mad Gringo was unable to reach his own. Everyone. That's like Blake is talking about. According to his studies, he's seen as harder for children of interracial marriage to be saved than it is a, a, a couple of the same race. According to his study, people. people. Everyone up mad a white girl could not reach his own people. And that's what God called him to do. Now, the love forbidding in the intermarriage. The guy in the intermarriage, okay. Yeah, good. But boy, it's got complications. And the old Hispanic people, they will not accept one of their own kind. God, if he marries a, somebody from Jesus. Well, I'm gonna go I don't know what he says there. I don't know what he's calling Hispanic people. Something here. And uh, the standpoint of art. And you see, you might kid somebody about... 20 years he goes back to Shem, Ham, Japheth. When even Gene Kim says, all oh, the races are mixed now. All well, the races are mixed. <laughs> so integration and stuff, you never fool an artist or a barber. A barber will tell you the three kinds of hair. And they come from three different follicles. One follicle puts out straight hair, one follicle puts out wavy hair, one follicle puts out kinky hair. <laughs> and you wouldn't fool a doll. So now he's talking about the three races. What does that do in interracial marriage? We know there are three races. Three general races. Now he starts talking about Oh, there's three races. Oh, like, we don't know that. Three major races. But they're all mixed. They're all mixed, people. Don't be deceived by these guys. Now he's going to talk about, well, there's three races. We know there's three races. Three major races, but they're all mixed up now. He even Kim missed that in his book. Buckman says there's no New Testament verses forbidding it, but there's all oh, so many problems. But Breaker doesn't even tell you that in his article. Breaker doesn't tell you one time, well, there's no New Testament verses that forbid it on the grace. He doesn't tell you that. Peter. He wants to run to all the various reasons. He did a study because he wanted his conviction not to be based on pre personal preference or opinion. Get that. And then at the end of it, he says, well, you know, this is my personal opinion. Well, no, you, the reason he went to all the articles was to get a conviction. Or to support a conviction. This is what I call a double-tongued liar. And people will still hold up and say, no, he doesn't believe that. <laughs> he went to school. And he tries to pretend the article like he didn't learn this. Under Ruckman. When he went to school in 1998. That's what they teach. This is what they teach him. That's what he taught, they taught him. I'm, I'm going to do a Bible study now. Like he just, off the top of his head, he, and that guy asked him, what do you think about your marriage? And, and break it and come back. Immediately, his, his thoughts came, you know what his thoughts came through his head? He had some, 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 some fine, fine, some way to be against it when the New Testament doesn't say anything against it because if he just came out and said it's a dispensation so there's nothing, new there's nothing in, the, in the New Testament that's against it there's no verses against it but he had to find he, and th so what, that's why he likes to call him up people he didn't want to debate people but he'll get you on the phone and argue with you trying to convince you because he thinks he, he, he can argue just like him all these guys think they can argue out of, you out of position. This is about a guy hiding something, hiding his real, real nature, hiding who he, what he really believes. And but it's not even really funny because he's writing it in a way that if you really saw what he wrote and and, and see see it and say. Wait a minute, you went to PBI 1998. This is what Buckman teaches. 
Why didn't you tell the guy in there? Why didn't you at least put in the article? There are new, no New Testament verses against it. And that basically just, um, the only reason I'm personally against it is because it creates other problems. He didn't say that. He didn't say that one time. Because if you're a dispensationalist, the fact there's no New Testament verses against it means the issue of the Old Testament is irrelevant to you. But the reality is, when you go to the Old Testament, all those verses they use were based on one thing. Spiritual issues. Outlandish women. And what and was Buckman there? He said, what? It says what? It says what? I can't hear you. <laughs> That's Jewish stuff to stuff, by the way. That's what you do, you know, you... You know, he was a drone struck in the army, and Marine Corps, you do the same thing. What? What? You, you get the people who yell, you know, the, the, the uh, recruits to yell louder. What? What? <laughs> louder! <laughs> so, I try to put this up. And again, his followers who want to want to be, or his, 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 his uh, people who tolerate him and, and, and will accept this lie, and basically in order so he, he can get off the hook and he can continue lying to people, he gives four reasons. None of the reasons are valid on that thing. But he wrote it for so his conviction. He wrote it to get a conviction on the subject. He already had a conviction on the subject. The reason his mind started working is because he had to figure a way to get to tell the guy not to have interracial marriage but without bringing the New Testament in, because no verses against it under grace. He gives the issue, a historical issue, and there's the uh, cultural issue, and blah, blah, what other issues there are, you know. Oh, I, you know, I'm personally against it, and I haven't studied this. The guy's showing you what he is. And don't tell me, well, he's renounced PBI. No, he's based PBI. He loves talking about Workman. My pa my pastor Buckman. He doesn't talk about. He never talk about Buckman as his, his teacher. He was about his pastor. And 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 Buckman wrote to his father, you know, about the about about the issue of uh, you know of, uh, salvation and prayer and blah blah blah. So I start put this up. You believe with guys what you want. When these guys come out of PBI, this is what they think. All of a sudden, they become non dispensationalists. <laughs> When it comes to the issue they don't like, they come, well, dispensationalism, let's throw it out. Forget about it. Because, you know, all oh, it gives a bad testimony. You know, interracial, you know, you see, you wish you're married, you know, you should worry. Because there's some things you don't care about the, the testimony because it's under grace. That's why Titus wasn't circumcised. See, I'm not going to, no way would Titus didn't get circumcised. It's under their business. As long as the person is Christian, it's none of your business. Oh, it hurt their, they were, the Hispanics wouldn't accept them. They're baloney. The Hispanics were marrying white people all the time. Yeah. Years. Yeah, hundreds of years. Who are you kidding? Who are you kidding? Hispanics, like, you know, oh, yeah, they were upset because they saw a white person, a white woman with a uh, Hispanic man. Get out of here. Hispanics and white people were marrying all over the place, all the time. But that's welcome. And that's Robert Blake. Amen. Thank you.